Removing a white background from an image in Adobe InDesign is a simple process. Removing a white background from a picture can be useful when dealing with multiple overlapping images, or if your image needs to be on a page that does not have a white background. Clear, stunning images obviously make a substantial difference to the impact of your document. If you want to learn more, then our InDesign courses cover a number of image manipulation techniques. Let's start this tutorial. Click File in the top left corner of the InDesign window and then click on New Document, then go to Document, or you can press Ctrl N on your keyboard. Please click Print. After that, click Letter and click Create. For our tutorial, please make sure that the workspace is Typography and not Touch or any other ones. The first thing we have to do is place the image that we actually want to remove the white background from. So go to File and then click Place, choosing from Windows Explorer the image you'd like to use. Or you can press Ctrl D. Click anywhere on the document to insert it. Move it around to your liking. I've chosen an apple and it looks great. There's only one problem. The document itself is white, so we can't actually see the white background. Let's put a yellow background behind it by clicking here where the mouse is, choosing yellow, and then making a square by pressing M or clicking the icon on the left and dragging it from one end of the document to the other. We have a new problem now. Our yellow background is obstructing the view of our image. We can fix this though by pressing V to switch to the selection tool or clicking the selection tool at the top left of the screen. Now we click the yellow background. Right click on it, go to arrange and click send backwards. Alternatively, you can press control left bracket. Now's the part to actually clip most of the white from our image. Make sure your image is selected. Click object at the top of the screen. Go down to Clipping Path and click Options. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl-Alt-Shift-K. Go to where it says Type. We want to choose Detect Edges. Make sure Preview is selected. Now, if we move this to the side, we can see that most of the white has been clipped. We can alter this by moving the threshold toggles and the, and the tolerance. Play with it till you have it where you like it. and then click OK. This is the part where some images may have to be fine-tuned, and this apple is a good example of that. Zoom in on your apple. I'm going to do so by pressing Ctrl plus plus. You can navigate to the white part that's between the stem, the apple, and the leaf. There's several ways to get rid of this white part that you see here, but the simplest is to create a yellow overlay. Do this by clicking the pen tool and creating an overlay. This requires some familiarity with the pen tool. If you haven't already, please familiarize yourself with its various functions. The more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look. I'm going to quickly through it for the purposes of this tutorial. We still have a problem. You can see that this has a black border. Go to the stroke and put it down to zero points. We can do the same thing for the bottom of the drawing, including the shadow. This can test your patience, but it's one of those things that is good to stick to. Once again, the longer you spend on it, the better it will look. Don't forget to get rid of your black border.
So now it looks pretty good. The problem is that if the apple is moved, the overlays won't move with it. We need to group them. Holding down the shift key, click your two overlays and the apple. Then press Ctrl G to group them. As you can see, when I move the apple around now, it stays with the yellow overlays. We're still not done. If you zoom in, you'll see white around the edges of the apple. particularly around the stem. We're going to get rid of that now. We're going to use another method for removing white from an image. Click on your apple. It helps to click near the edge. Click on it a few times and then press minus. If you do this right, anchor points should appear all over the border of the apple. You can go through the border, clicking ones to delete them. You can also add some by pressing Alt and clicking. This can allow for much more detailed work. Holding Control while hovering over an anchor point and dragging it will allow you to alter that anchor point. After, you can alter the curve of that anchor point, allowing for much more specific touches. Adding points to the stem can allow you to remove the white background with greater detail. What we've gone over are just three ways of removing white from an InDesign picture. Here you are, an apple. Removing a white background from an image in Adobe InDesign is a simple process.